In crazy rich Asian news. Woo! Oh, I want that to be me! Yeah. Someday. Submitted by Looking Good, David. My thank you. Hey. You're looking good. I have to How say. How did they know? Good yeah. job. David looks really good in that uh, Secret Bye. Society yeah. shirt, too. And matching hat. Thank you. But they didn't fully finish Secret. <laughs> <laughs> they misprinted it. CRT Society. Yeah. Secret. They were. Secret. <laughs> they get cheaper if you do less letters. That's right, true. We were just gonna S C R T S C T Y. Try to get the deal. Secret society. It's like when they only give you a certain amount of letters in those like letter magnet things. Exactly. Oh. <laughs> I would have just done that. You know, a man drove his son to school in a Ferrari and pissed off all the parents. Why? Because it was too loud. Oh yeah, he's probably going. Because it was too expensive. Oh what? fuck that. Fuck you, peasants. Yeah. <laughs> I would yeah. get an even more expensive car next time. <laughs> is this in America? No, this is in China. Oh, of course, they're a little bit more. Don't be flashy. I thought there was like a, I thought there was like a million millionaires in like just one major city in China. Yeah, and they're buying up all the property in Los yeah. Angeles. Hell yeah. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Yeah. So rich people stay with rich people, but you don't do that in front of regular people. That's fucked up. So then he was going to the. That's wrong like school. eating ice cream in front of a homeless man and saying, "I know you hungry, bitch." <laughs> That's me. And the homeless guy's like, I can buy ice cream, you <laughs> fucking idiot. Yeah. Ice cream's a fucking dollar, you <laughs> moron. <laughs> they probably make more. Yeah, right. He's like, I make 30 grand a year just panhandling, bro. What about you? <laughs> what about you, fuckface? Yeah. yeah, so this man, the the father, he makes about $578,000 a year. Damn. So he drives a Ferrari 488. Anything with numbers on it at the end? <sighs> Expensive. Yeah. Anything with Ferrari at the beginning? Yep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very true. A Ferrari blender? That would be an expensive yeah. blender. Yeah. Even just a Ferrari t shirt. Very expensive. Are they really? Like yeah. at the store at the airport? Is that the Ferrari store? Or wait, is that something else? I don't know. But like, I remember seeing it. We were in Italy and there was like a whole Ferrari store there. And I was just like, cool, maybe I could get like a little souvenir. Oh, it's expensive. Like $500. Yeah. <laughs> Even like just for barber? like a keychain. I'm like, damn. My barber has Ferrari clippers. That shit's like hundreds of dollars. Wow. It was because got a Ferrari in You should buy the t shirt with the. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why, dude? You should buy the t shirt that has the E's and the A's missing. It's just Ferrari. Oh, there you go. It's a knockoff. Like David's. Yeah. Ferrari. Like Friday. You save some money. Dude, my Mini Cooper shit. Okay, so I got a Mini Cooper, and I had to buy a, a dongle. Mini. So I had to buy a dongle so that my phone could connect to my car so I could listen to music, right? And the dongle was ninety nine fucking dollars. Didn't even come with it, and it's this short. And they, you can't even like use your. It's like, you so can't annoying. Even switch the and I know they got that shit from China for like two bucks, if that. So cheaters. Yeah. All right, Me. so this is a Ferrari that this dad drives. Damn, sick. That's pretty sick. that looks crazy. Same color. I don't know. I mean, I. I it's kind of <laughs> sad for the kid too, cause he's gonna get picked on. Actually, yeah, Casey. He told me when he was growing up that, cause his dad liked to have a toy car and stuff, and that sometimes they drop him off in that, and he always felt weird. He's like, no, I don't want people to see. It's just weird. I'm like, wow, it struggled. You say he didn't like the attention. Casey's yeah, like, I was crying into my race car bed. Cause all the other kids would be like, oh, is that a whatever, a Porsche or whatever, and then like they bug him all day about it. Yeah. Oh, damn. I mean, he didn't like the attention. Yeah, he doesn't. He didn't like that. Like, oh, look at that. David's coming out of the fucking public school bus. <laughs> I wonder if the, this kid feels just as emotionally upset as the kid that has to come to school in a complete beater. Like, I wonder what the emotional like level is. Differences. Yeah, like probably the kid in the beater is like, hey, dude, there's like fucking 300 of us in the beaters, so. Yeah. So then, uh, like the father. richest kid and the poorest kid compete. What about the kid who pulls up? You know those new things that are like three wheels. They're on oh, three yeah, wheels and they're convertible. The, what's it called? Oh, uh, uh, oh, uh, a version yeah. of a motorcycle or something. Dude, yeah, it's it's a Polaris slingshot. I, I'd rather pull up in a car that can barely fucking run and looks like <laughs> shit than pull up in one of those things. Holy that shit, shit is fun to ride. Is it? It fun? looks stupid, but it, it is so fun. Dumb. And it's always some like fat fifty year old guy like it driving is. it with oh. like a with like a sort of hot like forty six year old lady with yeah, like exactly. bleach blonde hair. Either that or a this Slingshot, yeah. yeah. Yeah, those things are yeah. hilarious. Oh, yeah. Dude, they are so fun to drive. It's like... Joe did a bunch of donuts in a parking lot. <laughs> yeah. How'd you, how, how'd you get to drive one? So, uh, one of our fans uh, rents those out. He has a, he has a, like... Like, it's like a motorsport company and they just rent out different things and then he let me ride that for a day. It was pretty fun. I took it to the mountains. I drifted with it. I went into a parking lot, did donuts and... Dude, he's watching right now. He's like, 
you f were fucking it up? <laughs> oh no, he saw the videos. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we made a video of it. I had Pat sit in a uh, stand in the middle, and then I just did a donut all around, and I was like, scared. He trusts you like crazy. He said he was shaking. He was scared, but it was, it was fun. It was so fun. It was yeah. It, but you're right though. Before that, like I would never even think of doing it because it was like. Lame. Yeah, so Nerd. this father here, he was told by a teacher that some parents uh, had complained in a class group messaging on WeChat. And so they were saying like, hey, you know what? How about you just get a normal car to drop off your... <laughs> like it's that easy. Hey, you're so rich, why don't you just buy another car? Exactly. They were just like, yeah, uh, it doesn't show... It's not a good lesson for all the rest of the kids. It doesn't show the value of money. Wait, wait, what? Dude, yeah. next time I show up on a fucking chariot with 18 horses. Yeah. <laughs> Give me a break, right. dude. Yeah, all gold chariot, yeah. too. Yeah, it says you should not show... They were saying you should not show off. Show off no matter how rich you are. And then... But so, he, did he fucking drive up, whip his aviators off and said, What's up, motherfucker? Or did, <laughs> or did, did he just drive up like a dad and says, Bye. Yeah. You know, like... Or he, or he, he drives up in his aviators, he takes them off, he throws them on the ground, like, fuck it, just throw them off. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, see ya, son. Yeah. yeah. Fucking takes off his Rolex, breaks it in half, chucks it. <laughs> Peace. Right. So a better a better money lesson for the kids is that they want the guy to buy us another car exactly. just to yeah. prove he's the same as everyone There's else. Like, no, it a dropping my kids off car. I don't yeah. Know. So then what ended up happening was that this dad refused, and he was like, "You guys are crazy." So he's like, "What's wrong with you people?" So he was he was bumped off of this chat group. And then that's when a lot of people on social media, because they found out about this story, a lot of people are like, what? Like how, like this could have been a perfect opportunity for you guys to teach a lesson to your kids yeah. about money, not exactly. not shelter them from luxury items of the world. And, and hide like, them. Hide it. Like yeah. what, luxury items don't exist in the real yeah. world? So yeah, they, the parents got back. Yeah, and it that. depends on, on, on how the dad was acting too. If he just rolled up and dropped off the kid. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, he's living his life, man. If I was a kid, I would have been like, Wow, that's a dope red car. How did you get that? And then I would start thinking of like, Oh, cool, like I want to work hard and get a good job and do all this other shit so I can make money like that. Yeah, but most people are just like, Oh, okay, now I'm gonna buy more lottery tickets. <laughs> Let's be real, you know what I mean? People don't think like that. Yeah, so now the dad is like... I want to know how to get that when I grow up. He's you excluded, know? like, socially from, like, the parents group and all that. Yeah, I'm he's sure he's crying into thousand dollar bills, dude. He's like, God <laughs> damn, this is sad. He's so like, oh, lonely. Shit, no, oh. It's lonely at the top. He can't hang out with these peasants. Oh, that's where the t-shirt comes in. Uh, they don't want to see you win. Uh, yeah, hell yeah. They don't want you to win. Yeah. Yeah. They don't want you to win, baby. That's why it is. I wonder why he's... Take, he's sending his kids to this school though, like he's so not? rich. Maybe yeah. he wants them to be normal. He might want them to be normal. Well, how are they gonna be normal getting dropped off? <laughs> well, like still being around like I know non-rich people is helpful. I think as you grow. Yeah. Up. There was a know. kid who uh, whose parents. Remember when Hummers were really big? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you know, my, like, the school I went to was fucking dirt poor. And so this kid, he obviously was very proud that his father had his little Hummer. You know, it was like this bright yellow fucking H1 Hummer rolled up into the school. He's walking out, oh cool. Stupid thing for him, school's very ghetto. Kid got beat up. So <laughs> I was like, come on kid, let's, uh, let's not do that. And I was just like, we're just all looking at him like, mm, he's probably gonna get jumped. Oh, <laughs> and yeah. he did. Oh damn. Yeah, felt bad for the guy though, cause he had um, like, you know, the religious like turban thing. They fucking took it off his head and everything. It was bad. Oh, that's wow. sad. At least they took it off his head. That's good. Yeah. It was just kind of like we were all thinking they're like, man, I can't believe they did that to him. But I was like, what did you expect? This is a ghetto ass school. Like, you, you know what I mean? It's like you can't show up so. So he was a Sikh? Yeah. yeah Sacramento. Sacramento, bro. All right. Keep repping it. Yeah, but you see how culturally diverse we are? We have people of the Sikh religion. I did too. All right. <laughs> we had all kinds. Nope, just Sacramento. Only Sacramento, dude. At least they had the respect to take off his religious garment before they beat his ass. Yep. <laughs> actually, white but people actually were the minority. That off is so disrespectful. Oh, shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was the big O like part. Oh, off, I see. Because they're never supposed part. to take it off yeah. in public. Oh, I thought it's like it's like taking off your jacket so you don't get it dirty. No. <laughs> they're like, well, we won't. You would have known that if you grew up in Sacramento, though. True. <laughs> yeah. You sold me, man. Yeah. Wish I grew up in Sacramento, bro. So you would have been religiously conscious, mm -hmm. all right? 
And I only found out after I saw the kid got his shit pulled off. <laughs> What's worse, to know but still make fun of it? Or to not know at all? Ignorance is bliss. Well, I don't know. I know and I make fun of it anyway.